Hey, this is Brian with Brian B's Move of the Week, and we are back with another breakdown of a high-level West Coast swing move seen often in Champions Jack and Jill. This, again, is from the Ben Morris and uh, Tessa Cunningham video. If you put into Google West Coast Swing and you go to 152, you will see this high-level move. We're going to break it down, but it's going to look like this. You're going to wonder why I'm in that position, but we're going to get to it. So he starts with a tuck turn. Very important, the gesturing. He tucks. He gestures while the girl spins. And then he looks very disinterested as she goes back underneath with a tuck. Now, he connects himself down into the floor so he can lead his center away. As he lowers his weight, putting his hand to the ground, sliding her back, she kicks over the head. He does a very high level move called hopping up. He hops up, and like a good champion, he anchors steps. So if we do the whole thing to music, not to music, whatever, to time straight through. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Yes, but actually let's talk about an actual <laughs> teaching tip that we can use. We typically understand West Coast Swing Connection both forward and back, positive and negative, leverage and compression, whatever your teacher wants to uh, discuss. But it also works rotationally. So as Megan rotates one direction, she connects in. As she rotates the other direction, she'll keep going until something stops her, until something stops her. So actually what they're able to pull off in that move, it starts with a tuck, right? She does her own little cool footwork down there, but the actual lead stops her, yes? He sends her back around, drops the hand, tuck, she follows through, and then comes the BS part, which if you're a high-level champion, champion Jack and Jill dancer, you can get away with, with the kick over the head, the pop up, and look as cool as possible. But hope you guys both found that entertaining and maybe even useful. We'll see you guys next week.